Come on. Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome. This week, as you may have seen on previous weeks, we have been looking at fears. Fears of dried raisins, jiggly puffs, giant whales in the sea, and moonbeams. This week, we have a man afraid of leaks. Now, let's see what he had to say backstage. Do the party? What? <laughs> <laughs> we're going, we're going this way, right? <laughs> <laughs> the table's a <laughs> And now, after seeing the footage, now it's time to see the man behind the fear. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chester P. Duncan. Chester? Chester! Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, firstly, I must ask, what is it that made you so afraid of leaks? I don't know if I can, if I don't know if I can talk about it on TV. Really, it's quite embarrassing. Well, you must. I suppose so. It's a talk show after all. It all started when I was a very young boy. It was my sixth birthday party, as I remember right, and my uncle came round. He was a farmer. He would always bring vegetables round for my mom to cook. He took me into the bathroom and well, he took a leak from his rather large toolbox and well, he, he put it somewhere very, very dark, somewhere where the sun don't shine, Charlie. Like a closet. Well, no, Charlie, somewhere far worse. I see that you're winding up a bit, aren't you? I am. Please, dry your eyes on me. Thank you. You were actually supposed to, to pass that to Greg, the sound man, and he would have given you a tissue in return. His uncle put a leak in his bum hole. He did. His Jerry. nether regions. I must my ask you. No, my no. hula hoop. What is it that you do not like about the leaks? Well, it's simple, really. The the color, the the texture, and the, the shape, and well, the fact that they're so easily inserted into one's anal cavity without um, without lubrication. Ah! Oh my God! To face your fear. Face it. Face it now. This is Charlie Sheriff. This boy you're about to come back to when you were six years old at that birthday party. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now met Chesapeake. 